Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be talking about an automated social media scheduler. So if you're familiar with Hootsuite or Buffer, it's a very, very similar idea here, but today we're gonna to be doing it for free using Airtable and Zapier. So let's get into it. Our Zapier has a Airtable step, it has a delay step, and it has a post to Facebook. Now you can post to whatever social media platform you want. In this case, we're just gonna be using Facebook as the example. Uh, and when we go to our social media calendar, you can see that we have two views. One is just called a grid view, and the other is a ready to post view. So I'm gonna have this box unchecked for now, and we are gonna go through our Zapier steps here and try to see how it all hooks together. So we're selecting our Airtable uh, tutorial base, we're selecting our social media calendar, and we're selecting our ready to post view. So in Airtable, you see there's no posts here yet. And when we check this box, ready to post, it shows up here. And that is because of a filter on the ready to post step that includes a checkbox. So we will test this data here and we can just click on record G in this case and load more. And you can see record H is here. Test data is crucial. So when you are building this automation, you always wanna be able to have solid test data with real information that you wanna post. So in our case, we have a nice image, nice meme here, and we have uh, some other text. So the post body is Zapier is good, but it can be better. Um, and, and just basically our tutorial post here. So we'll continue that and refresh the page. Occasionally Zapier runs into a snag like that. And this, the second step here is a delay until step. So when we click on the time and date delay until, first of all, you're selecting delay by Zapier. Uh, the event is going to be delay until rather than delay for or delay after queue. So we want to delay until. And then we're selecting the time inside of our first step. So the post date here is the post date inside of our Airtable base. We're actually saying, hey, 5, 6 at uh, 1130 a.m. So we get that time here in Zapier. And the crucial field here is how should we handle dates in the past? You always wanna put it on always continue. By default, it says continue uh, up to one, one day, but we always put always continue because if you accidentally posted it in the past, you might as well just, just send it out, right? So in this case, we are gonna always continue and we can test this action. And of course the delay, the delay works. And then the last step here, the third step, we're gonna be choosing Facebook. We're going to post on the X-ray workflow Facebook page. The photo is going to be this hydrate attachment. So you see a whole bunch of different files or URLs. Uh, the attachments file always has the word hydrate in it for Zapier. It's just the way that they store the, the, the files uh, inside of Zapier. It's the way they, they sort of compress it and, and rehydrate it, so to speak. And then the description is just gonna be the post body. So when we go to test this data, we can retest. Open for that green bar across the top here and green. So when we go to Zapier, uh, to Facebook, excuse me, we go in here and actually refresh the page. There it is. There's our post. We've got our nice image there and the whole, uh, all the copy also posted as well. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for helping you figure out how you can automatically set up a social media posting uh, setup inside your Airtable base. And using Zapier, it's really quite easy. So all the resources and links are in the description down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.